Hey everybody, Steve here. So I was looking around in my uh, in my little uh, kitchen kitchenette here, saw a casserole dish, and I'm like, you know what? It's been a while since I I'm like try some casserole. This is gonna be casserole week here at uh, the Ritter uh, uh, Temporary Command Post here in Abu Dhabi. Try some casserole. So I'm gonna do a tuna casserole today. And mom had done one. She she didn't she doesn't like the fishy taste, and she had done a video. And that's uh, that's right up here, the non fishy taste in casserole. You can check that out. Um, I, I'm 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 I'm, <laughs> I'm laughing now to let I do this, but I'm I'm looking right at it, and it's good, and it's not fishy tasting with the other things in it. It's not so, and it it's actually really good. So. Uh, I'm, I'm not being biased. I just tried it. I'm, I just and uh, but I'm, I'm doing this this intro video at the end because I didn't know how it was going to turn out. But it, it or if I would like it, you know, and I wouldn't have you guys try something that I wouldn't eat, right? Now that's what I always did with the kids. I'm not going to ask you to try anything that I wouldn't eat myself. I may not eat this all up. I thought about maybe taking it into work. Uh, no, this is all for me. So anyway. Let's get cracking, uh, and we'll get started on the on the tuna casserole. Here it comes. All right, let's get cracking. First thing, you can go with cream of celery or cream of asparagus or something like that. Uh, I'm going to go with some cream of mushroom soup. So, just a can of this. Uh, this is a how many ounces is this? Looks like about a eight ounce can or ten ounce can. Um, undiluted. So just pour it in, undiluted with water. I'm gonna go with half a cup of whole milk. There we go, and it goes. Use my whisk to whisk it up, mix it all together. Casserole is pretty easy. This may be casserole week here. See how this goes. See how this turns out. Mix that all in nice. Very nice. Now I'm going to go with a third of a cup of onions. Just because. Because I like onions. And I'm going to go with a drain. One can. Just drained a can of uh, white tuna. And it goes. This is flaked. So let's try to. Get this out in one piece here. So, this out the pieces, flake tuna, and drain it. So don't don't put the water in there. Probably be too fishy, don't you think? Now, mom has made tuna casserole with no fish. She never liked the fishy taste. She doesn't like fishy taste. I could take it or leave it. Doesn't bother me. Okay, that goes in. I'm gonna go with. Two cups of noodles. Now I was gonna use egg noodles, but uh, then I realized I'm just using what I have on hand here. I've got macaroni, so I'm gonna try this. See how this turns out. Two cups of this. Round cup one, two, and then I want to put in one cup of peas that have been thawed out. Now these are pretty much thawed out. Okay. <laughs> They're not really. <laughs> I put these in a little bowl of water, trying to thaw them out, and it's frozen to the bottom. Man, these are cold. Whew. So I'm just going to drain these off and just put them in. Ah, it's all right. And it goes. And it like refroze. That's weird. Okay. And then we'll just kind of mix all this together. Pretty easy. Mix all this together. Can you see that all right? Yeah. I am using a rubber spatula so that I can make sure to scrape the sides down. See that? So I can be taught. Mm -mm. Now, the macaroni here will absorb 
the liquid from the soup and the milk and uh, should should cook um, and I want to oh uh, man I almost forgot the secret ingredient so I'm gonna go with pimentos now I couldn't find a jar just a straight up pimentos but what I did find was this uh, harissa um, pickled pimentos now I love the harissa sauce that they would put on the uh, gyros that we get back in the states so I'm gonna go with uh, with this and it says two ounces so I'm guessing it's probably gonna be a couple of tablespoons here and that's okay a couple of big heaping tablespoons that's what I'm gonna go with mix this in really well I'm just pausing momentarily here just to ch double check because usually I forget to put stuff in so work's been pretty light this week we uh, were kind of in a little pause with a lot of the training so mm. Mm, wow, that smells good. Um, so, work's been a little easier this week. It's kind of nice. It's starting to get hot here. Really hot. The humidity starting to come up at night, too. So, summer's here. Full-fledged. And I want to make sure I got everything. Onions, cream of mushroom, milk, noodles, peas, uh, tuna, Pimento. Now, the last thing while this, well, I'm gonna put this, go ahead and put this in the uh, casserole dish, is uh, breadcrumbs and butter. And I'm gonna cook this casserole at, uh, now I'm gonna just kind of spray this casserole. Just to coat it here. Cook it in, I've got the oven preheated to 400, and I'm gonna, yep, yeah, that was the beef, so it's ready. So I just got home from work, getting a little hungry, should take, I'm going to cook this at 400 degrees for 25 minutes and then I'm going to put the breadcrumbs soaked in melted butter in on top for the last 5 minutes. So all together it should be 30 minutes and I should be eating the delicious tuna casserole. So. I like the red color in it. Makes it kind of nice. Kind of spreading it out a little bit. Now my casserole dish here may be a little big. Uh, we'll see. Maybe the noodles will swell up a little bit. And it'll should cook evenly. Look at that nice and smooth. There we go. In the oven it goes. 400 degrees. And we'll be right back. All right, so I've got two tablespoons of butter melted. To that I'm gonna add I'm just gonna get a feel here because this is gonna go on top I've got one two two tablespoons of breadcrumbs just kind of mix this in to the melted butter yeah I'm gonna need more uh, breadcrumbs because this is kind of a buttery mixture here too let's go with I'm thinking probably four bread teaspoons of breadcrumbs because I like it really bready on top if you don't like it, you can kind of peel back a little bit and hold back. Probably, uh, you know, a tablespoon of butter to uh, two tablespoons of breadcrumbs is kind of what you're looking for. So this worked out to about. Go with a little bit more. So uh, two. Tablespoon. That's it. That works out to that six tablespoons of breadcrumbs. That that'll work. So I'm just gonna kind of. Whoa! It's kind of a uh, kind of apple crumbly looking, isn't it? And I'm gonna spread this over the top in the last five minutes or so. That's what's gonna cook on the top. So I'm gonna be right back to pull it out at the 25 minute point to put this on, and then cook for five more. So stand by one. All right, just pulled it out of the oven. After thinking about it, I decided, you know what? 
I like breadcrumbs, so <laughs> I basically went with about three tablespoons of melted butter and then one cup of uh, breadcrumbs. So I uh, don't hate me, but I do like these uh, breadcrumbs and I like a nice bready kind of top to it. So don't be hating. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna just sprinkle these, try to get them evenly as much as I can over the top. And it's going to go in for another five to ten minutes when I think it's kind of done. Very, very nice. Like this rubber spatula, man, you really can clean it out. All right, so in the oven it goes for another five to ten minutes, and uh, we'll be right back. All right, out of the oven it goes. Man, this smells great. So what I did, I actually had to t take a call for work. So I, t I put it on 25 minutes, took it out, put the breadcrumbs over the top, Put it back in the oven for another five. Well, actually, it worked out to about, I checked it at five, and the tops, uh, just to make sure that the, the, the breadcrumbs didn't burn. And then I uh, actually ended up leaving it for 10. And I turned the oven off, left the door closed, and let it sit in there for another, uh, another um, shoot, it probably was in there another 20 or 30 minutes so I cracked the door and then I closed it and all just to kind of keep it let it heat a little bit more so that's not too hot so I think that that's well cooked and that's okay if you got something else going on just keep an eye on it make sure it doesn't burn I checked it closed so all right I'm gonna scoop some out try it let's see how it turns out stand by one all right here it is super simple casserole see the steam coming off the top better be careful all right smells great I love that baked tuna smell. Mmm. 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 That macaroni is cooked all the way through. It's not crunchy. I'm not <laughs> biting it. Mmm. Mmm. Love the peas in it. The pimentos are good. Man, this is good. Not much of a casserole guy per, per se. I think I am now. Got, uh, got, got the tuna flavor in. And the pimentos, the pickled pimentos, give it a nice little warmth to it, you know? It's not too spicy. Mmm, mmm. And then I love the onions. I wish I'd put more in. This is good. This is great. I'm gonna have it for dinner tonight. Put some in a Tupperware and then I'm gonna freeze the rest. Learn my lesson, so I'm gonna save it for later. So, hope you enjoy the video. Just a super quick. So I went from the time I started to eating was, uh, well, I could have eaten earlier, but I let it sit in the oven for probably 25, 30 minutes. So all together, putting it together, you're talking about maybe 30, 35 minutes or so. So it's easy. So hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. It's Colonel Sand over and out.